Got something. Yep. There he is, there he is. I'll show you guys my little bait tank here. I made this uh, for Shad. It's just a 120 quart igloo cooler. He's got a, it's kind of the same filter setup as like a Zamco. I know Striper Soup kind of does the same thing with their uh, bait tanks that they sell. They're pretty nice. This is just a chunk of six inch PVC. This is actually six inch PVC as well that I heated up with a heat gun and flattened out. So it kind of keeps it in there, but this, this is a completely removable setup here. You know, if you gotta use your cooler for other stuff, you can. It's just six inch PVC. You've got a bilge pump down in there underneath that grate and then a Danco aerator. The riser pipe um, is actually going down to a plate, which that bilge pump and the aerator are sitting on. You've got notches in there. Like I said, you've got that plate down there on the bottom. So it's sucking out the bottom of the tank. And then that gets this gravity that just draws that water up into this cylinder here and then that bilge pump will suck it down. On the way down it'll filter it. I got some filter media I throw in there. You know, it'll fit right in there just like that. Just homemade stuff. But uh, it works well. I mean I'm I'll catch shad and keep them for a couple days in here with, with no issues. The corners are somewhat rounded in these coolers, so it works out pretty good. As far as power goes, you've got your airline coming out of that aerator down there, and then you've got your, your two power wires. What I've got here is probably way over the top for what it needs to be. I mean, you press the thing to a battery, it'd be just fine. But uh, I've actually got a switch here with uh, auto manual. It's actually got a live ball timer inside that box. But again, I can take this off and remove all this stuff. You got your power in, you've got your wires to your pump. Your wires to your pump, your power in. I've got it going to a cord going up to a cigarette lighter. But I've also made up a cord that I can hook up to that. That's for, you know, just a car battery or whatever you want to do if you have it in the back of your truck or or uh, if you're camping on the shore or something and you're keeping bait. kind of the setup I mean I might have a hundred bucks into this thing I had the cooler so I guess you have to add that on there but it uh, it does really well you to adjust your current if you want to keep bluegills in here or something you just spin this cylinder around you know straight to the wall or whatever you want to do and that'll change your current so you can keep some stuff uh, like bullheads bluegills whatever if I keep those in there I'll just aim that right at the wall but with shad it does really well just like that, it's got a pretty good current in it. I'll put up some videos of uh, some bait in there. I think I've got a few, so. But that's it. You know, it's not one of them $800 bait tanks, but it, it works just fine. <laughs>